Hey everybody, it's Calvin Bowes. And I'm Erin Bowes. Um, and in the true spirit of the COVID season, since Calvin is working out of town this week, we are doing a uh, virtual uh, study on the verses uh, for today. So I'm going to be uh, leading us in a reading, a couple verses in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verse 38 and 39, and it reads, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And a couple things reflecting on that. Uh, there's so many situations and, and so many people in this world that try to provoke us. Uh, to have some sort of reaction or uh, uh, that makes us try to bite our tongue. You know, we have that irking thing in our in our chest that we don't really want to make a comment on something and it's a, a really tense subject. And a lot of those don't really require us to have any sort of comment on that or retaliation. And uh, we don't want to let those kind of things really bitter our hearts and, and pull us away from uh, God's peace. Um, and I'm going to let Aaron uh, lead us in prayer. So as, as we think about this verse, um, let's just um, kind of go to God in prayer. So dear Lord, um, we just ask that in this season that it seems so dark and, and so permeated with, with brokenness that you would, that you would clear our hearts and, and, lead a path to the way that you and your son Jesus wanted us to live, to think um, about mercy and compassion and love toward others, even in the midst of um, them acting out against us in thought, word, and deed. Uh, we know that it is a, it is a tall order, um, but if if your son could do it for for every single one of us um you know we can we can find a place to start i ask that you just clear away all of the clutter that's going on in our lives and and show us relationships in our life where where we can show this kind of mercy and compassion and where we can can look beyond the the hurtful thoughts and deeds of someone in our life and and find a way to minister to them to to be your light in this world because uh, in all of this darkness we need more light so we ask that in in this time of just unprecedented darkness and and incivility and um and just chaos we ask that you would reign over us and bring us peace and grace and and your guidance as we walk this very long and winding road in your loving name we pray. Amen. Everybody. Have a great day.